Hello, welcome to Never Unwrapping. This time, Tom Baker is Doctor Who in his final season, season 18, available on Blu-ray for the first time. And it's just come out today. So I guess you're all wanting to see what you get inside. So let's have a quick look round before I open it up. You may wish to pause to read any of this. I see one's in surround sound. And then um, we've also got um, K9 and company on here as well. So we've got Leisure Hive, Megloss, Full Circle, State of Decay, Warrior's Gate, Keeper of Traken, Legopolis, plus K9 and company. So this was 1980, wasn't it? And uh, Tom Baker was beginning to look a bit tired, I guess I'd say. And I think it was a mistake putting those question marks on, on his shirt there. I, I don't think he approved of it. And it, it, it sort of, but there again, it was, it, you've got to keep remembering, it's a children's programme. And of course, as we grow up, we carry on watching Doctor Who, forgetting that there are new children watching these all the time. So I wonder how many children will be watching this for the first time, and maybe their parents have got it. Well, it's the same presentation as the Peter Davison one. Oh, and I've also learned how to say Castro Velva properly since the last um, unwrapping. And again, it's in this going to be hard to keep nice, neat and tidy sort of slip over part. And let's see what sort of uh, nice artwork we've got. That's rather really nice, isn't it? Lala Ward saying goodbye, probably. Marriage is over. I'm not the uh, companion anymore. And Q Adric in eSpace. And indeed, Legopolis is where we meet Sarah Sutton, isn't it? For the first time as well. So very similar to the last box set in the way it's all put together with the same Velcro. So let's have a quick look just at the uh, extra of the discs here. Oh, some quite nice artwork on them. Oh, that's good. Each one uh, slightly different. That's great. Don't know. Remind me of what's this odd bod out of Carry On Screaming? You reminds me of. Yeah, Keeper of Tracking. See Nissen, Nissen, Nissa for the first time. Ah, and oh. <laughs> yeah, that's from the opening credits. So that's that side. Let's see what we get in here. We've got a, a rather old looking Tom Baker there. Father time sort of look. Well, that's nice. Yeah, there's some nice artwork again. The last one was good too. So we get interior of the TARDIS and a TARDIS in a TARDIS. So let's have a quick look through this. Oh, that's a nice one. Um, I already know that he's um, come back and he's done that, um, you know, on the sofa. What is it called? Hiding behind the sofa. And he's done some new um, commentary as well. So that would be really interesting to hear his thoughts after all these years on what was probably quite a bad time for him, I think, towards the end. Of course, John Nathan Turner had taken over. Actually, I don't need to tell you all this, do I? You, if, if you've bought this, you, you know all about Doctor Who, don't you? Do you remember the um, exhibition, anyone, in Madame Tussauds in the 80s? And uh, they had a complete quite big room dedicated to um, Tom Baker's Doctor Who. Started off with him outside the TARDIS and that was the wax that they used on Shada and a few photo ops where he wouldn't appear on anything. And one of the first things I remember going inside is seeing the Doctor like all cactusy like this. And I hadn't seen that episode then. 
And I was thinking, oh, I've missed out on a good one. It is a good episode, but it's too short, really. I mean, perhaps that's why it's so good. Perhaps it's like a real quick, snappy story, and that's why it's such good. I really do like that story. And there's always great character acting going on. A little bit uh, Creature of the Black Lagoon there. So look, we've got commentary. Matthew Waterhouse, Andrew Smith, Christopher H. Bidmead. Making off documentary, isolated soundtrack. So I think we probably get, yeah, Swap Shop. I think we probably get the same as what was on the DVD, plus a few new things. And of course, lovely, on the last one, on Peter Davidson one, when he went out filming some of the old locations. Of course, last summer was a wonderful summer. So it really does look nice, the extra bits. And I'd imagine if they filmed this one, they probably did last year sometime. And it will also be uh, going back to those spaces, I hope, in the in the summer, like the last one was. It was really interesting with them walking around little bits where they'd filmed. I see the extras on uh, these Doctor Who's are as good as the actual um, production itself. And um, they're all worth watching. So we get sort of a, a few pages on each by the look of things. Ah, there we are. The Master cannot regenerate anymore, but who now can regenerate loads of times just like this Doctor can for some reason. Is that his 13th regeneration, I think, wasn't it, that one? Oh no, was that the one when um, Tom Baker's called back to headquarters, as it were, and there's a, an assassin, isn't it? Deadly assassin. I think that's when he was his 13th with the uh, Sasha Rassel on. Had to mend the sash of Russell on and the Doctor and Nina became uh, the leader, didn't he? Anyway, going off to another episode there. So I think I will just um, hold each page up to the camera and just scan down to let you, if you don't intend to buy this, um, read what's here. So if you don't want to see this bit, just skip ahead for a few uh, minutes. The moment it's been prepared for. It's a rather nice book there, nicely printed. It's Vince Cable. And of course Vince Cable, as we all know, used to be the conductor in the, the original Muppet Show. If you have a look at the beginning, the opening credits of the Muppet Show, you, you'll see him there conducting. Of 
course no digital downloads with this. Well, not that it worries me as I, I don't really use them. And a nice um, unexpected extra here to get K9 and company. There we are. Another nicely turned out Blu-ray collection from the BBC. Looking pretty good. Really looking forward to it. I actually really enjoyed the Peter Davison ones. As I say, the extras are so good on it. Everyone talking about how it was and memories of the filming and what have you. So hopefully this will be just as exciting. And of course, we'll be seeing the uh, switch over between him and Peter Davison, probably on the uh, penultimate disc there, which Keenan and Company's on. So there we are, that's the first quick look at the new Doctor Who, season 18, available for the first time on Blu-ray. And I'll just quickly uh, show you the ones it replaces. Let's put that one up there. So it replaces this uh, version of Legopolis. Keeper of Tracking. Gloss. Leisure Hive. And then the eSpace Trilogy, it's also the last uh, series, I meet Adric, things start to change for the camper. Actually, let's do it in the right order, shall we? So, full circle. Reminds me of a very early zombie film as well that um, Hammer did. In fact, it was filmed on the set of um, The Reptile, I think it was. 
Plague of Zombies. I've got it somewhere. That, that headdress reminds me a little bit of it. Oh, this is the uh, vampire one, isn't it? With the, uh, maybe not all as it seems there, so I won't spoil it in case anyone hasn't seen it. And Warrior's Gate. There we are, so it gets rid of all of these in one package, which is really nice. I hope I hope they bring them all out like this, and I uh, can get rid of all these DVDs. But I hope they keep all the bits. I know in one of my um, DVDs, there's a Jimmy Savile bit where he appears in the TARDIS, which is uh, really unsettling. They must be the Doctor's biggest foe ever, but I don't think that would be in the uh, newer versions. But I can't think what disc that, that's on, and which Doctor even. Witch Doctor. <laughs> well, there we are. So that was a quick look at the new Doctor Who Blu-ray and the DVDs that it replaced. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Hello, welcome to Never Unwrapping. This time, Tom Baker's last season, season 18, now available on Blu ray. Hello, welcome to Never Unwrapping. Hello, welcome to Never Unwrapping. This time, Doctor Who by. Oh.